What's up? Brandon Lilly here. I'm going to give you five quick tips for squat week with Juggernaut Training Systems. These five tips I think are very valuable for anybody that's training the squat, especially a competitive power lifter. Number one, establish what real depth is. Don't go by what your friends tell you. Don't go by what anybody else tells you. Look up what depth is, and it's the hip joint being below the knee joint. Set up a camera on the side and start videotaping from the side your lifts and start establishing whether you're actually hitting depth or not. In training, you should be hitting depth every single time. If you go to a meet and you get a gift, that's on the judges. But in training, train how you want to play, and that should be to actual depth below parallel. Second, work reps. This is something you've heard me say over and over. It's going to do a lot of things. It's going to allow you to find um, a form or a technique that works for you. Doing singles all the time, you don't get that kind of benefit. So do reps. Do higher rep sets. Don't always go much over 10 because we're trying to train for power. But every once in a while, we do some squats up near 20 just to try to kill ourselves in the gym and have some fun challenging each other. But to really build the legs, to really build uh, power, keep your reps in the range of 1 to 10. Um, on my rep days, I like to go 3, 5s, and 8s. Those are, those are good rep ranges for me. Number three, find a stance that works well for you. Uh, don't do what is popular. Don't do what everyone tells you to do. Do what feels comfortable. I knew the very first time I ever squatted that I was a narrow stance squatter. Um, I ended up squatting, I believe it was 660 at 219 pounds um, in a raw division. And I was uh, 20, let's see, I was 19 years old, 219 pounds. And uh, I did that narrow stance. And here I go out and I, I forced myself to squat wide for years and years and years, bang my hips up. Just never really did feel comfortable doing that. And immediately when I came back to squatting narrow, um, things started feeling better again. So go with what works for you. Try to, try to build your mechanics around your body because everybody's different. So... Even if all your training partners are doing one thing, try it. If it doesn't feel good, if it doesn't feel right, experiment. You know, do what do what you think you need to do. And I think you'll be a lot better in the long run for that. Number four, hand placement. I see a lot of guys taking their hands out really wide on the bar, and this isn't always good because what that does is it allows your uh, shoulders to relax. It allows your arms to relax. If you look at a lot of European lifters, their hands are very tight in their shoulders. <clears throat> and that's because we are just we don't focus enough on mobility. So start creeping your hands in and really tucking your elbows forward as this will keep your posture up. It will keep your chest up, your back tight, and that will keep you, you know, in a good position going into the hole. The last thing, the squat is a beast of a lift, and you have to approach the bar with a purpose. Don't ever get under the bar unless you are 100% confident in yourself that you're going to get it. Don't take jumps because your, t your teammates or your partners tell you to. Take jumps that are intelligent. Take jumps that are planned. Take jumps that will make you better on the meet day. Don't always chase the PR in the gym. I've always said a training cycle full of PRs doesn't mean shit if you don't replicate it on the platform. The platform is the only place that matters. So get your mind right before you get under the bar. If it doesn't feel right, re-rack it. Learn how the weight should feel on your back before you start the descent. Because your starting position will affect your overall bottom position and your ending position. Make every set count, make every rep count, and you'll be a better squatter for it. Thanks.